Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about traveling salesman problem using Herald Carp algorithm which is basically a dynamic programming solution. So what is a traveling salesman problem? Let's say we have a graph like this with weights on the edges. The idea is to find the minimum weight route which starts from a vertex and then travels every other vertex exactly once and then ends at this start vertex. So traveling salesman problem is basically finding a minimum weight Hamiltonian circuit in the graph. Traveling salesman problem has many many applications but it is also an NP hard problem. So a brute force way to solve traveling salesman problem would be to generate all possible permutations of these vertices and see which permutation gives you the minimum weight. But the problem is the time complexity for that algorithm will be n factorial. So this algorithm using dynamic programming solves it in exponential time which although bad is much much better than a factorial time algorithm. So next, let's try to understand this, this algorithm with the help of an example. Here, I'm representing my graph as a distance matrix. So for example, cost of going from 0 to 1 is 1 and the cost of going from 0 to 2 is 15 and so on. Also notice it's an asymmetric graph. So for example, the cost of going from 1 to 2 is 7, which is not same as the cost of going from 2 to 1, which is 6. Example of asymmetric graph is flight tickets. For example, cost of flying from city 1 to city 2 might not be same as cost of flying back from city 2 to city 1. Also, if there is no path, if no path exists between a vertex to another vertex, then in this distance matrix we can put a really big number which will prevent that edge to be picked in the traveling salesman route. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a start vertex 0. So basically starting, we'll start our tour from uh, vertex 0, visit all other vertices and then come back to 0 and this tour should have minimum cost. So the first thing we are going to do is excluding 0, uh, so take remaining of the vertices, so 1, 2 and 3 and then generate all possible subsets. So the possible subsets would be an empty set 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3 and then 1, 2, 3. After we are done generating this, we are going to fill up some data, some information in this uh, in this uh, section here and to save time I have written all this beforehand and we'll see how I'm going to put the data or how I'm going to put the values here. So the idea is to pick one subset at a time and then go through every vertex in this graph except the start vertex and the vertices in that subset and try to find what is the minimum cost to reach that vertex from start vertex and going through all the vertices in the subset. So one empty set here, so first we're going to pick an empty set. So one empty set here, we are trying to find what is the minimum cost to reach one from our start vertex zero going via this empty set. So since there are no uh, vertices in the empty set, this value is basically the cost to reach one via zero, so which is zero to one, so one. And here we are going to indicate that we are reaching one from zero. So this parent will be useful in finally building the traveling salesman tour. So now two and empty set. So what is the minimum cost to reach two via this empty set from, uh, from start vertex zero? So basically the cost of zero to two, so cost of zero to two is 15. Again, this value will be, parent will be zero, indicating that we are reaching two from zero. Three empty set will be cost of 0 to 3 which is 6 and this value will be 0. So let's come to this guy. So we are done traveling, so we are done traversing all the vertices for empty set. So empty set is done. So then we are going to pick the next subset. So the next subset is 1. So we are going to skip 1 because it's already, uh, it's already in the subset. So we are going to start from 2. So what is the minimum cost to reach 2? from 0 going via 1. So we already know what is the minimum cost to reach 1 from 0 which is this value. So 1 infinity, 1 uh, empty set plus whatever is the value to reach uh, 2 from 1 which is 1 2. So 1, uh, 1 to 2 is 7. Whatever is the value to reach 2 from 1 so which is 7. So this value here is 1, 
So 1 plus 7 is 8. And here we are going to indicate that we are reaching 2 via 1. So next, 3 to 1 is, what is the minimum cost to reach 3 from 0 via 1? So this value again will be 1 and empty set plus uh, whatever it takes to reach 3 from 1. So that is 1, uh, that is 1, 3, which is 3. So this value is 4. And here we are reaching uh, from 1. So now we're done doing all, uh, all the vertices for subset 1. So we're going to pick the next subset 2. So here we're trying to find what is the minimum cost to reach 1 going via all the vertices in this subset from start vertex 0. So we already know what, what it takes to reach 2 from 0, which is 2 empty set, so 15, plus whatever it costs to reach 1 from 2, so that is 2, 1. So 2, 1 is 6. So this value is 21. And we are indicating we are reaching here from 2. Similarly, 3, 2 will be uh, whatever it takes to reach 2 from 0, which is 15, plus uh, 2 to 3, so 2, 3 is 12. So this is 27. And again, we are reaching 3 via 2. Finally, so we are done doing all the all the vertices for subset 2, so then you're going to pick subset 3. So what is a minimum to reach 1 from 0 via 3? So we already know what it takes to reach 3 from 1, which is 3 empty set, which is 6, plus whatever it takes to reach 1 from 3, so that is 3, 1, so that's 4, so this value is 10, and we are indicating that we are reaching 1 from 3. So this is uh, uh, 3. And then uh, 2 to 3, so minimum it takes to reach 3 from 0 is 6, which is this value, plus whatever it takes to reach 2 from 3, so 3, 2, so 3, 2 is 8, so this value is 14, and uh, we are reaching here from 3. So let's continue to fill rest of the values. So next is 3, subset 1, 2, and 0. So basically trying to find what is the minimum cost to reach 3 going via uh, vertices 1, 2 from start vertex 0. So there are two options here. The vertex right before 3 could be 1 or the vertex right before 3 could be 2. If the vertex right before 3 is 1, in that case the value, the minimum cost we get is whatever it takes to reach uh, 3 from 1, so that is 1, 3, so that is 1, 3, which is 3, plus whatever it takes to reach 1 from vertex 0 with subset 2. So that's this value. Whatever it takes to reach 1 from 0 with subset 2, so that's 21. So minimum of this value, or if you reach 3 from vertex 2, so the vertex right before, if the vertex right before 3 was 2, then uh, 2, 3, so 2, 3 is 12, plus whatever it takes to reach 2 from 0 going via vertex 1. So that value is this. So that's 8. So minimum of these two is 20. So this value will be 20. And we are getting this value when the vertex right before 3 is 2. So we'll say that uh, 3 is parent will be 2. Next, uh, let's try to find for 2, 3. So we are trying to find the minimum it takes to reach 1 going via both the vertices 2, 3 from start vertex 0. So 1, uh, so if the vertex right before 1 is 2, in that case, the value we get is uh, whatever it takes to reach uh, 2 from 1, so 2, 1, so 6, plus uh, whatever it takes to reach 2 from 0 going via 3, so that value is this, so 14, or if the vertex right before 1 was 3, 
So the distance from 3 to 1, so distance from 3 to 1 is 4 plus whatever it takes to reach uh, 3 via 2 from 0, so that is this value, so 27. So in this case, the minimum value is again 20. And we are indicating that we are reaching 1 from uh, 2. So reaching 1 from 2 will give you this value 20. Finally, let's look for this 2, 1, 3. So basically trying to reach 2 from uh, both vertices 1, 3 starting with vertex 0. So if the vertex right before 2 was 1, so the minimum value we get is, the value we get is uh, distance from 1 to 2. So distance of 1 to 2 is 7 plus whatever it takes to reach 1 from 0 going via 3. So that value should be here, 10. So this, this is 10. Or if the vertex right before uh, 2 was 3, so the distance from uh, 3 to 2, distance from 3 to 2 is 8 plus whatever it takes to reach 3 uh, uh, what, by a 0 from 1, so that is 4. And the minimum of these two is uh, 12. So here I'm going to indicate that we are reaching 2 from 3. So once we're doing all this, this here will give us a final answer. So what is this doing? And if we are saying is, what is the minimum cost to reach 0? Going through all the vertices 1, 2 and 3, starting with the vertex 0. So our, we are ending with the vertex 0, we are starting with the vertex 0 and going through all the other vertices. So this is our traveling salesman's uh, route. This is our traveling salesman's tour. So let's see what are the possibilities there. So we are trying to find the minimum of what if the last, uh, so we are trying to find the minimum of three possibilities. One is if one was the vertex right before zero, or two was the vertex right before zero, or three was the vertex right before zero. If one was the vertex right before zero, in that case, we have the, we get the cost of going from zero to one, of uh, going from one to zero. So one to zero is two, plus whatever it takes to reach one, from 0 going via what is this 2, 3. So that value is right here. We, the value to reach 1 going via what is this 2, 3 from 0. So that's 20. If the vertex right before 0 is 2, then the cost to reach from 2 to 0, so 2 to 0 is 9, plus whatever it takes to reach 2 from 0 going via vertex 1, 3. So that value is right here. 12 is the minimum value to reach 2, going via vertices 1, 3, starting with uh, start vertex 0, so 12. Or if the vertex right before 0 is 3, so the cost of 0, uh, 3 to 0 is 10, plus whatever is the minimum value to reach 3 from start vertex 0 going via 1, 2. So that value is 20. So the minimum of these three is 21. And we are reaching here from two. So 21 is the minimum cost Hamiltonian circuit or is the cost of our traveling salesman's problem. So let's try to recreate the tour. So our last vertex is zero. And how do we reach zero? We reach zero from two. So the vertex right before 0 is 2. Now the question is how do we reach 2? So to see how do we reach 2, we see where is this coming from. So we picked 2 here, it means that we have to reach 2 via 1, 3 from 0. So that we reach from 3. So the vertex right before this is 3. So then we are going to see where this 3, three is coming from. So to find that, we go to uh, one th uh, how do we reach 3 from 1 via 0? So that is this value, this guy. So 3 via 1 from 0. So the value, so the vertex before this is 1. And finally, where is 1 coming from? So 1 is coming from 0. So 0, 1, 3, 2, 
zero is our traveling salesman store. Let's quickly confirm that the cost of this is same as 21. So zero to one, zero to one is one plus one, two, three is three plus three, two, two is eight plus two, two, uh, plus two, two, zero is uh, two to zero is nine. So this is 12 plus nine, 21, which was the cost of our tour. So the time complexity is exponential. So it take, there are exponential number of subsets. So O of two raised to n, and for each subset, we are going through every vertex. And while going through every vertex, we are checking what should be the vertex right before that vertex. So basically we're doing n squared work. So time complexity is two raised to n into n squared and the space complexity also will be same. So next, let's, let's look at the code for this algorithm. The main function here is min cost. It takes in the distance matrix as we discussed before in the video and it, it, and it returns the cost of the traveling salesman's uh, route. Uh, first, we're going to declare two maps here, which are going to uh, store, which are going to be storing intermediate values. This map is a, f a map from index to integer. Let's look at this class index. Class index has a current vertex and a set vertex set. So, what this map is storing is the cost to reach the current vertex from the start vertex, going through all the vertices in the vertex set. And this parent is storing the vertex right before the current vertex in the vertex set, which gives the minimum cost. Then we are going to generate all the combinations except the start vertex. Start vertex in this case is zero. So we are going to generate all the combinations for rest of the vertex. So which is an empty set, one, two, three, one, two, two, three, and one, three. And then we are going to iterate through all these subsets one by one. So we take one subset at a time. And then for that subset, we are going to iterate through all the vertices starting from vertex one. So we're going to skip the start vertex, which is zero and start from vertex one. If the set contains the current, this current vertex, then we are going to ignore it. Otherwise, we are going to create this index, which is based on the current vertex and set. Our main cost will be infinity and main previous vertex will be zero. And then I'm going to copy this set into a copy set because Java won't let you update a set while iterating through it. It throws concurrent modification exception, which is why I'm copying the set into the copy set. Then I'm going to iterate through one uh, element at a time in the set and select each of them to be the previous vertex, basically the vertex right before the current vertex. And then we're going to see which one of them gives the minimum cost. So our cost will be the distance of previous vertex from the current vertex plus whatever it takes to reach the previous vertex and going through all the other vertices in the vertex set from the start vertex. So whichever cost gives us the minimum cost becomes our uh, minimum cost and whichever vertex uh, gives that value is min priv vertex. Also, if the set size is one, basically if the, subs if the subset is an empty set, in this case, we won't go into this for loop and our minimum cost in that case will be distance of uh, that current vertex from zero. And then we're gonna put this into this min cost. So basically we're gonna put index in the min cost and in the parent uh, map, we're going to put the index and the min priv vertex as we found here. After we're done doing this, we finally need to finish our uh, traveling salesman tour. So we're going to find, we're trying to find uh, the cost to reach zero, going through all the vertices one, two, three, and starting with vertex zero. So to find that, we uh, create a set consisting of one, two, three, and then we go through each of them one by one and see which one gives the minimum cost. So the cost will be distance of k to zero plus whatever it takes to reach k from zero going through all the other vertices and whatever cost uh, we get is the minimum cost. So this minimum is our minimum cost of traveling salesman's tour. Also, uh, you can print the tour here and uh, to do that, we just uh, go through this parent and we start from the we start from zero, and we keep uh, getting their parent one by one, and uh, keep putting them in the stack. And when the when the parent becomes null, we break out of this while loop and print the elements of the stack. Let me quickly run this code for you. So 
as expected, the minimum cost is 21 and the tour is 01320. So uh, this is all I have to talk about uh, traveling salesman's problem. Uh, the link to this uh, code is in the description section of the video. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.